up up my channel and in this video we're going to be um, talking about my wish list so yeah let's get right into the video and we also hit 60 subscribers so thank you for that okay so yeah let's get right into it so forgot to mention don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps the channel grow as well so yeah let's get into the video how I started doing plants only somewhere in like mid July and I also already have like 50 house plants or something but like um yeah so there's a couple that I um had on my wish list when I first started that I acclimatized I probably will make a video about that also okay now let's get into my wish list without further ado the first one is my really favorite one and I'll just move a little bit so I can fit it into the frame right here so you can see the picture of the plant my first one is a very favorite one it's a Hoya Carnosa Chelsea so um the leaves are oval shaped i think about like that and then they have little i don't know um dimples in them and um yeah it's like a plate well um relating it to the hoya crinkle eight the hoya crinkle eight is like a sandwich while this one is more of opened little bowl okay so it's quite obvious why many people not only me like this plant it's really beautiful and yeah it has it's really beautiful it fills in very beautifully it was readily available like last year people were finding in big box stores but um i think prices did go up on this guy over the past couple of months this one is a philodendron micans my philodendron micans i don't have actually i saw it at gunner's greenhouse when i last went there but um i didn't get it because um it was over my budget, so I didn't get it then, but I should have gotten it. I still regret it, but, um, yeah, I have a picture right there, and, um, they glow in the sun when the sun rays hit them, so I think it's really cool, and it feels fuzzy, too. I like fuzzy plants a lot, so I like the deep color and the veining on them also, so they're really beautiful as well. Now, the next plant. This one is a really popular one that people have been finding in the big box stores and stuff like that. And they've been not readily available in North Carolina where I live, but here's the picture. And they're a monstera, but they don't have splits and fenestrations in them. They're just a different type of monstera. I know different monstera like Peru also don't get that type of fenestration. And monstera doesn't necessarily mean it gets fenestration. It's just a genus of, I think, where they're from. Don't take my word for that at all. But, um... It's really cute and it grows like the Monstera Sanii, so yeah, Monstera Sultipacana. I wish I could find one at my local Lowe's or Home Depot. And yeah, now next plant. This one is a Hoya Carii vine, not the Hoya Carii leaf that you'd find at a grocery store. That just sits and I, those things don't grow unless you get a sliver of the stem. So yeah, Hoya Carii that can grow out and be a normal Hoya. And, these were at Gunner's Greenhouse also, and if you're wondering what this is, I made a video about it that I'll link down below. I also linked my plant tour so you can see all my plants as well. But they're a plant shop like pretty close to me that carry a lot of um, rare plants, and they do have an IGTV as well, and guys, Instagram if you want to go check out their stuff as well. So those were $20, but I, I think I missed out on it because they're selling out like this. And... So they're really beautiful, especially the variegated one. I'm okay with the non-variegated, but variegated is, I think, is really striking with the yellow. So yeah, many people like this one also. And if you want a vine, it costs sixty dollars unless you get it in a shop that's willing to reduce the price for you. Now this one is also a favorite. I love ficus overall. I want to get like all the ficus in the world, but like I don't know. So this one is a ficus a triangularis, and um. So it's a really beautiful plant, as it's in its name, it's triangular. And I heard that these guys are crybabies and they drop all their leaves if you get a watering or something. But um, I see them in big box stores and stuff like that. As long as I, you don't buy from a greenhouse that's used to greenhouse conditions, I think this guy is pretty okay if you buy it from a greenhouse because they're used to all the shipping damage, draft from the store doors opening and closing consistently. So I think plants that are bought from big box stores are much harder from than ones that you'd buy from a greenhouse. But I really like plants that you buy from a greenhouse as they have quality and um, 
a better price and more rarity for them as stock. But yeah, so Ficus Triangularis, I really like the variegated version, but I also like the non-variegated version as well. Yeah, and these have been getting really popular. They cost about like $200 for this size, so I think, yeah, it's my favorite of mine. This one is a Calathea White Fusion. So Calathea White Fusion is really beautiful. It's like really beautifully variegated in between the white variegation and green. There's like this turquoise section right there that's really striking. I really like this plant. And it's a dwarf version of another Calathea, I think. And I also heard that these guys are crybabies, but um, I think I'm going to keep mine in a greenhouse. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to get it yet or not. And I am going to make a plant wish list of three things. That, um, and I'm going to get one of them. So I'll maybe also make a, a video about that as well. So yeah, Calistia White Fusion is really straightforward why I like this plant. And many other people like them as well. So yeah. Next plant. You know, I didn't. I lost count, okay? So this one is a Monstera Peru. This is like a big favorite of mine. I've been hunting for it, but like prices aren't dropping on these in um, America at least because I heard in the UK these things are retailing for like $10, like regular plant price for a common house plant. But yeah, so Monstera Peru, they're really shiny and they're wrinkly. I really like the texture of them as well. And I really like the striking green on them. So yeah, Monstera Peru, I really like the growth pattern. And yeah, I can just imagine it sitting right next to me right now, but I don't have it. Okay, next plant. Now this one is an Alocasia Maharani. I like, I when I scroll through TikTok, um, plant talk actually, many people talk about them as when they got it, when it was popular, but now they don't like it. But this is literally a wishlist plant. I saw it in person in the Gunner's Greenhouse video, which I did tell you. I'll link it down below, but the Gunner's Greenhouse video was like really great as well. And yeah, so Alocasia Maharani, I really like the texture and the vavity feel. I really like any plant where I can just sit next to it and just pet it all day. Just like the ficus audrey, many people don't like that as well, which was a wishless plant that I got this year as well. So yeah, I really like velvety plants so you can feel them as long as you look at them. Yeah, so Alocasia Maharani. Now, next plant. This one, I don't know if I'm going to ever get it or not, but this one's like a common house plant on every beginner, middle gardener, maybe, whatever it's called, and any um, rare house plant owner's list is a um, Monstera Albo Borsagiana. And yeah, I love the variegation. It's really straightforward why it's on every Instagram feed in the world. And yeah, it's really striking. It also, like the Calathea White Fusion, it has that turquoise margin between the white and the green which I really enjoy and I love the fenestrations on it it's one of those plants that if you have it's the first thing they'll see and ask you what is that and then you're gonna have to give them an hour-long lecture about what it is okay next plant now this one is a Monstera Dubia and this one is also a really popular one as well so yeah it grows on a plank which I really like so yeah, and it's also like the monster Siltipacana, I think the um, patterning on the leaves is like the Monstera Siltipacana. So I really like that and the way it grows on the plank or you can even grow it flat on sphagnum, I think. Yeah, so yeah, Monstera Dubia. Yeah, and this is the end of my wish list for 2021. Yeah, and I should have posted this video on January 1st, but it's going up now anyway. So, so this is my wish list for 2021 plant wish list, and hopefully I can do one next year as well. And yeah, hope you like this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye!